Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev. Today we're going to be looking at Click View and we're going to be looking at loading in line. In my opinion, it's the easiest way to get started with Click View and loading data. Um, if data is not stored in a data source and we need to load it in, uh, then we can use an inline statement for that. Or if we're also looking at ad hoc analysis, so we're allowing users to create their own analysis, and we need to load in lists of dimensions and expressions, this can be easily achieved with an inline statement. Now, ClickView does have a wizard vault available uh, for loading inline, which we will look at, or we can just add it to the script. So we'll have a look at both options. We'll go over to ClickView now, and we'll go through some demonstrations. I've opened a brand new ClickView document and I'm going to start off with going to the Edit Script tab. So I'm just going to click here and it's going to bring up the Edit Script page. Now initially that opens up a main tab with some default selections. So this is something ClickView picks up from the operating system. So I am actually based in the UK and you can see it sets the money format to pounds for me. Um, so we're going to leave that as is and we're just simply going to click here and add a new tab and I'm going to call that in line because this is where we're going to be loading our data. So initially to start off with we're going to have a look at the, the wizard which is very simple. So we're just going to go to insert, load statement, uh, load in line and then that brings up this, this data wizard for us. So all we're going to do initially is just add uh, some months and some sales targets for for those months um, so I'm just going to click my double click my column header and I'm just going to rename that to month and then I'm going to add a new header and I'm just going to call this uh, target so I'm just going to add that in there uh, I'm just going to add a few months in so I'm just going to add uh, January February and March and I'm just going to set the same default target of a thousand so I'm just going to add those figures in there so as you can see it, it's very easy to use it's just like entering data in Excel so if I go ahead and click on OK here that's going to create the load script for me. Now I can give this uh, a table name so just above this statement I'm just going to drop uh, the keyword targets uh, and just put a semicolon there. So we've initially got an inline statement there so I don't think uh, there's not a known limit uh, or a limit that I know of to the amount of columns or rows you can add inline Generally when you're loading data in line though, it's going to be a small amount of data um, because we have to load it within the ClickView app ourselves because it's not stored within a data source. If it's other larger important data, then generally we'll have it in a data source somewhere that we're going to pull in from. We'll just go through another little example now of how we can just create that ourselves. So once you're familiar with the syntax, and I've got used to using that uh, that wizard to create your inline statements. It's pretty simple to go ahead and start creating it yourself. So we're just going to create one here. So I'm just going to write load all in line, um, open square brackets, uh, and then so I'm just creating a table called employees here. So I'm just going to add name, uh, position, and a start date. Um, so we can see it's just a, a comma separated list. Um, so we'll just make up some quick data here. Um, so we'll say Tony, he's a sales manager. He started um, the 1st of the 1st, 2018. Uh, we'll say Michelle, she's a sales assistant who started on the 1st of March, 2018. So we can see it's relatively easy to get started uh, and loading data into ClickView this way. 
So if I was to just save this now uh, and hit on the reload button, we can see uh, our tables, it has executed the script successfully. We've got our two tables created. Uh, and then if I go to my, my table viewer, I can see that these tables have been created with the same data that I have inserted within the load script. So we can see when, when we're inserting data into ClickView and we want to get started quickly, maybe get started working on the on front end objects or, or testing different charts. Um, so it's not it's not something we we want to use in production. It's it's quite easy to get started this way. Um, we can also, uh, I don't know why you'd want to do this, I've never done this myself, but I could also just say I want to select name and position from this previously loaded table. So in this table I've got name, position, start date, but then I could just load name and position. So you do have that option, but then the, the question is really why would you put start date in there to start with? So if I actually reloaded that and went to the table viewer to have a look at the data available, we can see that start date's no longer included. But again, there's not really much point doing that unless it's just for, for debugging purposes. So you might as well have the, the asterisks there just representing that you're loading all of the data. Uh, another thing to mention uh, about loading all in line is that you can change the delimiter. So if I just indicate to ClickView that I have a different delimiter, um, so for example, if I wanted to use a pipe, uh, I could simply indicate that uh, and then add that within my script. So I'm just going to go ahead and make those changes now. So we don't have to use a comma separated list, even though that's standard. If you're used to using different delimiters, then you can just add those in yourself and just indicate to the click view script, script the delimiter you're actually using. So if I was to go ahead, save and reload that now, we have added start date back in. Uh, and if I look at the preview, I've still got the same data using a different delimiter within the list. So as mentioned previously, very easily to just get started with this and start throwing different bits of data on the screen, start having a look at different charts. Um, so that's the easiest way to go about loading data into ClickView. And if you're loading data that isn't stored elsewhere in a data source, then it's probably going to be your only option as well. So one option I typically come across is maybe KPIs that aren't necessarily stored anywhere or are changing um, then I can add them directly into my click view script but I also use that a lot for for testing if I want to look at how certain certain charts will look without loading in a huge data model then I can simply throw in a few rows of data within that inline statement uh, and start building quite quickly Really hope you have enjoyed that video. If you are enjoying the videos on ClickView, let me know in the comments below, or if you'd like to see any other videos on any other tools on ClickSense, Power BI, Tableau, let me know in the comments below. Do check out my other videos. I have lots of great content on SQL programming, business intelligence, data analysis. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click that notification button to be made aware of when new videos are uploaded. Thanks a lot for watching.